Beginning with ONTAP 9.6, you can access an expansive REST Web Services API to deploy and administer ONTAP storage resources. If you're using Python to access the REST API, NetApp provides the ONTAP Python client library to make it easy to quickly develop robust code and support the automation of your ONTAP deployments. The Python client library is hosted on the Python package index website. You'll need to install the package to your local workstation using the pip utility. The library provides several supporting services that we'll review shortly. Online documentation for the library includes conceptual descriptions, examples, and the details of the classes, functions, and variables. To get started with the Python client library, navigate to the NetApp Developer Network website. DevNet is a central location for developer resources for NetApp products and solutions. ONTAP supports several different APIs, including the new REST API. This DevNet page provides everything you need to get started with the ONTAP REST API. There are several resources available, including an online reference and developer's guide, as well as blogs and podcasts. On the right, you can click the link to navigate to the download page for the Python client library. Here is the PyPI project page for the ONTAP Python client library. The name of the package is NetApp ONTAP. The version is based on the associated ONTAP version and a minor version for the package within the ONTAP release. On the left is a link to online documentation. There is also a list of prerequisites and the basic installation instructions. Before we install the library, let's review the major features. Host connections. You can configure a connection to an ONTAP system one time and then reuse it for subsequent operations. There are three connection scopes available and you can create multiple connections to different hosts as needed. Asynchronous processing and jobs. Asynchronous requests are processed by ONTAP as background jobs. By default, the library makes these requests appear synchronous and pulls the job on behalf of the client. Responses. All responses, including errors and jobs, are handled in a consistent way. You can retrieve the raw HTTP response data as needed. Exception handling. An HTTP status code of 400 or greater can be raised as an exception or returned as an error response. I've already downloaded the package wheel file to my workstation and will install it locally. You can also install the package directly from PyPI if needed. There we go. The package is now installed and ready to use. Let's take a look at a simple script that retrieves the ONTAP cluster configuration to a local Python cluster object and then prints the cluster version. The first three lines import the modules from the package required for the script. You can optionally disable the warning message when ONTAP uses a self-signed certificate. This is a new connection to our ONTAP system, including the IP address and credentials. Here we can set the new connection as the global default for all calls in the script. This is one of the three scopes for a host connection. The local cluster object represents the ONTAP cluster as exposed through the REST API. Calling the GET function on the cluster object sends the HTTP GET request to ONTAP. The cluster configuration is returned and stored in the local object. Finally, we print the cluster version from the local object. I've saved our sample script in a file named git underscore cluster dot pi in our local directory. So let's run it. As you can see, the script completed and displayed the version of the cluster. The ONTAP Python client library is based on the popular Python language and is easy to install and use. It was created by the NetApp ONTAP development team to provide a solid and reliable foundation for writing robust code for your automation tasks.